Okay, so here I'm trying to pack what I need for the trip to Victoria. Now I'm only going to stay there for one night, so I don't need a lot of stuff, but I do want to do plein air. So that means I need to pack my Porsche box and into the travel bag here. Just so that I don't need to bring any tube of paint with me, I need to look at my palette and see what color is missing well not missing what color is almost gone so so i'm going to squeeze out some paint to fill them up just so that i don't need to bring any more tube of paint with me so i can just bring this palette and it'll have everything that i need okay so i refill most of the color that i need and i think this is good to go Okay, so I'm gonna talk about my plein air setup pretty quickly so I don't have to do that when I'm outside when there's a bunch of people. So anyways, this is uh, my Porsche box. So it's made by Sienna, Sienna plein air. So what's interesting is that when I got the case, when I got the box, this is actually reversed. This used to be opened up like that. And if you imagine that, and if you imagine this reversed, so I put the paper here, I put my palette and stuff, my pencil here, my brush here, and I can paint like that. Now, the problem is I have this huge space between me and the paper, which is fine, but I like to have kind of nothing in between me and the paper. So what I did is I used my very limited crafting skill to reverse this. So now there's nothing between me and the paper. All right, so if I just put my paper right here, I sit up like that. I can stand over here and then I can just paint it right up. Now the problem is this will be on the left side and I am a right-hander so that's not going to work well I also got this supply box so I'm not going to show you its original form but what it does is it actually have two things that can kind of lock to your tripod down here so I again with my limited crafting skill I modified this so what I did is I drill a hole here the thing is they share the hardware so I take this longer screw so I screw this two knob tight so they won't fall so it's very stable I'll tilt it like that I'll tighten these screws and now if I put my paper on it okay so I can put my brush here I can put my palette here so I can just stand right here and I have my palette and my color on the right side and then I can just paint on it and this side I can put something else so this will be very very helpful so again this is a full setup it will be pretty helpful and for me to paint very comfortably okay so this is what I'm going to bring so I need to fix all those stuff into the travel bag should be able to do that so my camera I got a small mirrorless camera Sony Alpha 6000 it's a nice camera and I'm only going to bring one zoom lens I have a better prime lens I have a 50 1.8 but I'm not going to bring that Okay, because I, I want to travel as light as possible and I'm gonna not going to take any portrait photos so this um, zoom lens will do so my plein air set, my Porsche box, my supply box and I have a cloth that I can use this is my toiletry bag this, is, this bag contains the clothes that I need so that should be it let's see if I can fit all this in okay so everything is inside and I did it now I am not going to show you how I pack it until I arrive at the hotel I'll unpack that when I'm ready to
because I just cramp everything in, so I don't want to do it again. Here it is, the Clipper Ferry. This ferry is going to take me to Victoria. I'm here at Victoria, absolutely beautiful day and I uh, can't wait to start to explore the city. I've been here before but it's the first time here alone so I can't wait to explore the city and looking for places to paint. Alright so I spoil myself because I'm going to be staying at the famous wonderful Fairmount Empress Hotel in Victoria. So like I said, I spoil myself. I book a room at Fairmount Empress Hotel and it is a wonderful hotel. It's not like a very modern hotel, so everything looks really classic, which is nice. And I got a little bit of an ocean view here. I definitely didn't expect that. So that was great and I got my luggage here I get to set everything down I was going to just set my luggage here see if I can check in at the front desk while I walk around with my little bag because this is pretty heavy but it was great that I can actually just check into my room so I can get to relax a little bit and I will do the unpacking and you will see how I pack everything into this bag and it is awesome. Okay, here's the bathroom. Very nice and clean. There's also a decent sized closet. I just hang my jacket there. I don't think I'll be needing it right now. All right, so let's unpack what we have here, okay? So, just open this up. Okay, so I put the paper on top just so it's not going to get scratched or anything by anything underneath. It has a cover and it has a hard board underneath, but still better safe than sorry. And it is on top, so everything else fits underneath. So let me go ahead and take that out. Sunderwater 4, rough 12 by 16 or 16 by 12, which is a good size of a paper that I work on. So let me set that aside. And under that, this is a compressed bag with my clothes in it. So this is compressed. There's like an air valve, so after I load everything in, I just push out the air so it can fit a lot of clothes in it and reduce the size, which is wonderful. This comes with the travel bag that I purchased. This is nomadic travel bag, just so you know. Here's a cloth that I'm going to use during the painting. So that's that. This is a clamp that I am going to attach my GoPro. I have my GoPro here on the side pocket here. I'm gonna attach the GoPro so while I'm painting I can also record the process while I'm painting outside. So that will be useful. Hopefully the battery will hold. I also have a battery pack so if the battery doesn't hold that will work. So here's my supply box on the side and here is my OSHA box. And there we go. Okay, and there's a front pocket here, which I put my camera here. You don't see it because I'm recording this app right now. Underneath here, 
we have a my toiletry bag under here and here is really cool this is a travel hamper that also comes with the bag I just take it out and I can hang it on a doorknob and things like that it's for my dirty clothes which is great so I can separate my clean clothes and my dirty clothes zip that there's a little pocket for I have my water container here it can get a little bit wet even after I dump the water out after I paint so this is a waterproof material so I can put it in here so it doesn't the water doesn't get to other things it's a protein shake just in case I got really hungry and there's no food around now for the side pocket I unzip the whole thing Let's see oh, I got some of the bookmark that I make the purpose I bring a bunch of bookmark is that if while I'm painting and there are people walking by and some people make comments, some people actually want to carry out some conversation and I'll probably hand them one of the bookmark and there's my work example and my website on it so it kind of serves as a business card but it's a bookmark so they can actually use it if they read books and I have a palette knife, I forgot to put it in the box so I just throw it here now I have so charging cable for the GoPro and this is very cool this thing this thing is a flash drive that connects to my iPhone or iPad so my iPhone is not really big the storage is not that big so if I running out of storage I can just plug this thing in and I can offload all the movies and the photos here and it has a USB so when I go back home I can plug into my computer and just transfer the files there which is really convenient especially if you're using a Windows and sometimes iPhone have problem connecting with the computer for whatever reason this makes things very easy and it's really small so I just take it with me during I'm traveling I also brought a power bank so this will serve me well if I'm outside, there's no outlet and I need some battery, I need some extra power on the go, this holds a lot of juice. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so I saw since we are doing unpacking, I might as well go over this pack that I brought it with me as well. So this is sort of my everyday bag and I bring it almost everywhere and I think I'm just going to try to unpack it a little bit kind of introduce what I bring with me so this thing is add-on okay first this is things add-on I got this because I bought a collector edition of Tom Clancy division it's a video game one of the things it come with is this little pouch thing so it has two loops so I just loop it around my shoulder strap and the reason I bring that is I will be able to access documents and my passport very easily here and very securely because since this is going to be in front nobody's going to pick in and try to take my passport or anything so this bag is from Tumi I bought it in an outlet in Orlando anyway so the back sleeve Here's where I hold my iPad Pro and I also brought a little Bluetooth keyboard with it so I'm able to work here replying email, writing blog, whatever it is and I in the, this pocket in the front I have this little box here now this little box is pretty cool inside it holds my Apple Pencil and here's a, just a regular pen and here is a it can fit a USB outlet charger that I can just plug it in and charge everywhere this little thing is for, for Apple Pencil for you to charge with the cable now I have a cable I just put it somewhere else because I'm charging and this here it also holds my headset here so this is very useful this is just a screen cleaner i just happen to store it in here so this is a very elegant solution to put a lot of stuff here and 
I can just kind of store it in my bag. My wall is here as well. And I think that's about it in the front. Here's a little hat. There's a front pocket. I have my shade here. And uh, for uh, germaphobic, I have a hand sanitizer. So that's pretty much it. So it is very nice because I can pretty much bring everything here and come to think about it the technology is amazing okay back in the days if you want to have something that's capable of producing work and doing emails and everything you need to bring a laptop now just an ipad and this bluetooth keyboard and apple pencil there i can just pretty much take everything here and I can go somewhere, spend an afternoon working without a problem. So this neat little sling bag is really, really nice. All right, so I just unpacked everything and it was great. The hotel is very comfortable and it's beautiful outside, so I can't wait to go out. It's not the first time I'm here, but it's the first time I'm here alone. So I got a lot more time to go around and stay at some place looking at things. So the first thing is to finding good subjects to paint. It is a beautiful city. I really want to go around and explore. Because I don't have a car, I don't want to go anywhere too far. So just around the pier and maybe a couple blocks away. I'm glad it's not really hot so I can go out and walk around. So what I'm going to do today is to bring my sling bag and my iPad my camera to just kind of explore around looking at places see if anywhere that really caught my eyes the ipad with procreate will allow me to do some sketching on location so i might do a painting late afternoon the blessing of summer here in pacific northwest is that the daylight lasts very very long so the sun won't completely set until almost 10 so I can probably grab my set and head out around 7 or 8 p.m. and start painting. That will give me a lot of time in the evening and when the weather is cooler. And I also need to look at the lighting, what lighting will be interesting for the specific location and subject that I'm painting. Right now it's about noon, so it's almost like a high noon, so the lighting is almost straight from top down which is not always bad but it can be less interesting because there are not a lot of lighting information that brings out the form of the subject but anyways i will definitely want to paint something a little bit later in the afternoon or evening or even around the sunset or very early in the morning tomorrow so today will mostly be exploring. So I spent the whole morning traveling and checking the hotel and I haven't really had a breakfast aside from a protein shake. So I'm rather hungry. So I'm gonna head out looking for some food to eat and start to explore the city.